I also think in the area of um, uh, seismic design, we're going to see more and more innovations in damping, uh, especially as we go uh, uh, taller. Uh, we need more damping in, in buildings, both for wind and for seismic. Uh, we're going to see more innovations, especially in the distributed damping systems where they put these viscoelastic uh, type of dampers that are distributed throughout the building, as well as in the uh, areas of uh, tune mass dampers. As buildings get taller, uh, the issue of controlling building motion so that it's comfortable for people to be in it becomes more and more uh, central to the design. It's not just building taller only, it's building taller and smarter. I mean, that kind of comes down to like, and that's the kind of the core of our thinking in, in the firm. And when we sort of approach the problems, I think the research and materials that we've been doing, collaborations that we've been doing, is all in line of building smarter buildings and as a first go get go you know product itself but also to its lifetime and like to add to mark's point about the 20 year cycle we really really do think seriously about that buildings should use materials that we dispose of so we're developing um, concepts where we're introducing post-consumer materials into structures to lighten them as, as ibars is saying you know, we want strong buildings, but we want them to be as light as possible, and especially in areas of high seismicity. We have to use only contemporary material. This is very important as expression of, of, uh, of buildings. Uh, the new buildings are, are using a lot the glass. You know, glass usually is an energy eater uh, material. Maybe it was new technologies that help us in this way, but uh, if uh, we can use uh, the natural element that we have around, uh, I mean the sun, the wind, uh, the, the ground, uh, the earth, uh, and the water to produce energy, and we use it in the right way, we can uh, transform energy eater building in a passive building where the, we can consume less energy and we can preserve and that we can increase, of course, the quality of the, the life inside the building. And unfortunately, there are so many buildings built today which require a very, because they have an unusual shape, uh, that, that, that they require a lot of material to order achieve this. For me, it's, it's all about materials. Well, there's probably two things, materials being one. Um, I mean, I said to Peter earlier on that, you know, I'm embarrassed when I talk to my brother-in-law who's in the marine industry about what we use for materials. It's uh, where, you know, in the dark ages, really. Um, and I think the other thing would be just the um, getting over this situation of being able to sort of design and draw things in any shape or form, but then having the thing as constructed with lots of material in it that you just don't need for simplicity of construction. Uh, a lot of projects, it's all about integration. It's all about collaboration. Design, bid, build, yeah, it works, but it's not the right way to go. Design, assist, design, build, okay, systems integration, collaboration, off-site prefabrication. You can only do that with design, assist, with design, build. If it's design, bid, build, you can't do that, okay? And Thornton Thomas said he proved it on, with Skanska on the Jets Giants. The client is vitally important in, in all of this because if you don't have a client that encourages you to do these things, it's gone. And it's all very well talking about integrated architecture and engineering, but they mean nothing if ultimately um, the client is not up for the cost and the difficulty for them and for us of actually achieving these things. I mean that uh, for us it's important to give to our employees uh, a better life. And so any techniques, uh, any techniques that can add uh, a better welfare in the in the building, of course, it's uh, is useful. So we need, I think, future high rise in general in the city should have a more connection to the to the nature, mm -hmm. because in the modern time the city look very much like a machine. The building like repeating the, the floor play and then going tall, taller and taller, taller. And, but a lot of people, they want to escape from the city. 
they don't feel they're emotional uh, connected to the these high-rise buildings.